Essentially, there are many talented people out there who love performing but can't or won't do it as a business. There are only very limited amounts of positions available in professional theatre, so community theatre is a great outlet for people that want to do it just for the love of it. I'm about to do an original song. It's a song about the big difference between amateur theatre and big glossy professional productions because if you go and see a big glossy professional show with a huge star in it, that's who you're seeing. Someone you don't necessarily know, maybe someone you admire, but not someone you've shared a bit of your life with. Whereas, if you go to a local production, you might see someone who's a colleague or the parent of one of your kid's friends at school or the person you married, and you might see them <laughs> in a completely different light. So that's what the song's about. It's written from two points of view, because I think there are two categories of people who go to shows. There are those who are dragged there against their will and who pretend not to enjoy it and have a thoroughly good time. And there are those who have done a couple of shows and cannot wait to get up on that stage and show everyone else up there how it should be done. Um, <laughs> it's been my experience that those two people are in fact the same person. <laughs> the difference is two musicals in six months. <laughs> the song's called Brian the Chemist. I work hard throughout the week and the last thing I need is to get dressed up on Friday and go out and see a show. I mean a show, a singing show that's not for me. Sad people playing dress-ups and if they were any good, well, don't you think they wouldn't do it all for free? Well, I think so. Oh. It's ironing and babysitters, parking and small talk, double-priced booze and show me to my seat. Then one by one the phones turn off, the lights go down, old people cough. And while that orchestra's done, who knows, maybe I can have a snooze, but there's nowhere for my feet. Well, would you look up there? That's Brian, Brian the chemist. The beard is fake, he's not that fat, but it's Brian. Did you know he could sing? Those painted flats aren't Russia. He kissed a woman, not his wife. But it's Brian, and yet not Brian, spotlit in the middle of everything. That's a fleeting sort of stardom It's a peculiar kind of fame But the next time, the next time I hand him my prescription I won't look at him the same Yes, it's Brian, that's Brian That prince among men And I can't wait to see him do it again I work hard throughout the week and the one thing I need is to wash the office off me and get out, rehearse a show I mean a show a singing show, yeah that's for me Mad people playing dress ups as crazy as they come they'll try it all and somehow do it all for free and so do I why not with Paul from Orange, Jan from Dubbo, Nazma and Rachel girls who sell shoes, a barrel guy named Rick come opening night our phones turn off, the lights go down I need to cough and while the orchestra tunes, I'm faint. Then Jenny calls the cues, and I think I might be sick.
Well, would you look up here? It's me and Mitchell from Albury and folks from Cooma, Browley, Parks and Molong, also known as the crew. This isn't New York City, it's not my suit, I made the hat, but we're dancing, and yet not dancing, some steps that we never really learned to do. It's a fleeting sort of stardom, it's a peculiar kind of fame, but when our families, our families, they meet us in the foyer, they won't look at us the same, and then it hits me, I'm Brian, well bugger me, we're all Brian, Wollongong, Campbelltown, they're all Brian, Marimbula and Queenbian and Wagga Bryans, Shell Harbour is full of Bryans, Bateman's Bay is one big Brian, we're Brian. Earth. And you could pay us, you could go ahead and pay us, but you could never pay us what it's worth. Come Monday, we'll be chemists, but Monday's Monday till then. We just can't wait to do it again. We just can't wait to do it again. We just can't wait to do this again. Had it not been for a, an amateur world around the time when I was burgeoning 12 or 13, I may not have made my first steps either. So it's a wonderful way, singing, dancing, theatre are great ways for people to remain active, um, active in the brain, active in the body. I think that's great for participation. It provides great entertainment for the public. And most importantly, it's often where young people get their start. So I think the professional world can never really afford to forget what this kind of participatory performance in the arts does.